three teams on the women's side ran under 45 seconds to advance to the final tomorrow is to be crowned who will be the fastest four by 100 meter relay women's team at the Texas Relays this year. Look at the smoke that they brought here. That is Ashley Collier for Texas A&M. But the surprise was which team didn't make it. The LSU Lady Tigers, who would expect to be right in the mix, they muffed the pass. That final pass took off too fast, disqualified. They are not in the final nine for Saturday's 4x100 women's relay final. That's a shock. And they knew there was a mistake made there. And again, look at the center of the track where generally the top teams get that place. Baylor challenged, but they were not not going to run down Perzell Harvey from Texas A&M. And they had three teams run 40 flat or faster in the 4x100 for men. These teams are faster both in the 4x1 and the 4x4 than the majority of Olympic teams from countries at the Olympic Games that compete. That's how top flight collegiate track and field is, men and women, in the 4x1 and 4x4. And you know, Florida is always going to be there in the men's 4x1. Olympic talent in this race, Larry. Isaiah Young from Ole Miss in the middle of your screen. Right, and he's getting his feet wet here in the outdoor season, running the 100. He made the Olympics at 200 meters, the semifinals. Runs 10.30 seconds. And the young man just had a dream year last year. Anaso Jobadwana, South Africa's gift to Jackson State. Watch him motor away from a classy field. Wow. Wow, 10.13 seconds. The wind barely over the allowable limit. And he led the way with all qualifiers for the final tomorrow. And that's what an Olympic finalist looks like. He also anchored their four by one relay. From Auburn, the former football player, Harry Adams. Right, got a great crew to train with, but his top end speed is really tremendous. And he holds it well to the finish. Had a superb indoor season as an NCAA All-American from Auburn and he will be in the final against Joe Budwana. Well, an evening session from Old Miss. He lives in Oxford, went to school in Oxford. Sam Kendricks, just a sophomore, came in with an 18 four and a half personal best, went nuts here, new stadium record. That was his attempt at 19 two and a quarter, but he cleared 19 feet, three quarters of an inch for a new stadium record. That's a big deal because there's been a lot of good vaulters who have vaulted here at Mike Myers Stadium over the years at the Texas Relay. Dad is his coach. Dad was a cross country runner at Ole Miss. And he, Sam, was named the outstanding cadet at Oxford this year in a Marine Corps Junior ROTC program. Quite a guy. And his father even said he didn't think his son could jump that high this year. And his some proved him wrong. Then we got into the distance relays medley, and this was a great matchup between the rivals. It was, and uh, Patrick McGregor, who led the 4x800 meters to victory for Texas last night, said, I tucked in right behind, and he reversed the tables from last year, getting a victory for the University of Texas over Texas A&M. Last year, the tables were turned, and it was A&M the victor. And University of Texas wins the distance medley relay.